In this podcast we will look at identifying the critical path using a PDM network diagram. PDM stands for Precedent Diagramming Method. In a PDM diagram the box represents the activity, and the arrow represents the relationship between the activities. PDM is the most commonly used network diagramming technique. In this network diagram there are five paths. Each path is identified by the arrows connecting the boxes. Each box is an activity. Each arrow the relationship between the activities. Note, the relationship between activity H and activities C and D. Activity H is dependent on both C and D. In other words both activity C and activity D must be finished before activity H can start. Path 1, highlighted here in red has a total duration of 16 days. Add up the duration of each activity to determine the total duration for the path. For example, 5 plus 4 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 equals 16. Follow the arrows to understand the relationship between the activities. Using this information you can now identify the critical path for your project, as it is always the longest. Therefore for this example, path number 2, highlighted in red, is the critical path, as it is the longest with a duration of 28 days. We also know that path 1, is the shortest, it will only take 16 days, to complete. Therefore we know that it has the most contingency. Path 1 has 12 days contingency, because, provided all the work required for the activities on this path is completed before day 28, the project end date will not be negatively impacted. This is the simplest way to identify the critical path for your project. However, it is not always possible to simply add up the duration of the activities to determine the critical path. The most common method used is called the critical path method CPM. This involves calculating the amount of contingency time, or float, there is between activities. To revise how to calculate float, using the critical path method, view the CPM podcast.